And welcome to Clark Range High School. We're set for volleyball action tonight. It is Clark Range and Van Buren County. Some District 3A rivals, and this one should be a good one. Clark Range uh, coming in here trying to uh, break a three-game skid while the uh, ladies from uh, Van Buren County set at 4-2 and two overall, 3-0 and oh in district play. So they're playing very well. We'll take a look at the history between these two teams. We'll take a look at who uh, the uh, Van Buren County team has played. We'll take a look at this district. We'll also look at how the JV games went tonight. All that's coming up here on the pregame show. A uh, big thank you to our sponsors for our live broadcast, our Upper Cumberland Federal Credit Union in Clark Range, Hall's Family Pharmacy, First Volunteer Bank in Jamestown and Clark Range. Also, uh, Twin Lakes Telephone Cooperative, Clark Range Drug Center, McDonald's of Jamestown, R&T Trophies, Monday Funeral Home, and, of course, to Hall's Family Pharmacy, our sponsor for our Player of the game will be picking a player of the game tonight from tonight's volleyball game coming up here at the end of this action. But this one should be a good one, folks. Lady Buffalo's in need of a win, and the uh, Lady uh, Eagles trying to stay perfect on the district season. We'll take a look at all that stuff coming up right after this. What comes to mind when you think of Union Bank? Words like hometown, local, service, and strength? You might not think of words like high-tech or mobile. This is Bryant Johnson. At Union Bank, we are proud to combine the strength of over 100 years of service with the convenience of today's technology. As always, you can stop in for a warm cup of coffee and talk to one of our friendly tellers, or simply deposit your check or transfer money right from your mobile phone. Union Bank, honoring the past, embracing the future. Visit our website or stop by today to learn more. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Everyone likes to be rewarded for a job well done, and R&T Trophies, located at 913 Old Highway 127 South, has any size trophies, plaques, and engravable awards and gifts. They also carry sports keychains, clocks, desk accessories, plastic engraved door and wall signs, and sport lapel pins. R&T also can put your favorite photo on 10-inch melamine plates. For more information, stop by their location in the H&R Block Building or call owners Roger and Teresa Tompkins at 879-6575. Hello everyone, this is John Robbins on behalf of State Representative John Mark Wendell wishing the Lady Buffaloes many wins during the 2018 volleyball season. John Mark is happy to be a sponsor of the Play by Play broadcast and hopes that you enjoy each and every game. Also, the very best to our youth as they work hard in their athletic endeavors and educational pursuits. Again, on behalf of Representative John Mark Wendell, this is John Robbins saying best of luck, Lady Buffaloes. Whether you're competing on the athletic field or working hard in the classroom, remember you have the support of First Volunteer Bank, the bank with personality. We're behind you 100% of the way. Good luck to all the area teams. Play tough and play fair. And remember, when it comes to helping you with your banking needs, we're First Volunteer Bank, the bank with personality. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. And now over. Okay. Well, back here, we're getting set for volleyball action. Clark Range comes in one and three, of course. They open up the season. That win over Bledsoe came, but have dropped three straight from that point as they lost to Bledsoe County, Wartburg, and Monterey. So this one's a big one for them. They'd like to break that skid. While uh, the Van Buren County girls come in 3-0 and in the district, they have beaten Monterey. They've beaten uh, what should have been the big dogs of the district. Bledsoe County, what most people thought was going to be the big dogs, and they've also beaten Harriman, so they beat some of the tougher teams in the district, and they are a very good squad here coming in tonight. Not a lot of numbers, uh, though, for the Van Buren squad as uh, they have uh, low numbers, uh, only uh, I think about 11 or 12 players on their roster, and uh, their JV team a minute ago, so a lot of those uh, varsity kids playing on the JV game as well. They won over Clark Range. Clark Range took the opening uh, set, 25-23, then Van Buren County took the second one at 25-28 and took the third and deciding match in that best two out three JV game, 15-12. to We're getting set for this one, though, and this one is varsity action as the uh, Clark Range Lady Buffaloes swept Van Buren County last year, taking both games at Van Buren County. They won 3-2, to two, and then here at Clark Range High School, they won 3 nothing. So it is uh, a team that uh, Clark Range last year dominated 
this year. They are one of the cream of the crops out of District 3A. Don't go away. We're going to take another time out. We'll be back. We'll take a look at the teams in District 3A coming up in just a moment. Over 80% of business owners say loyal customers are the keys to a successful business. At Hall Family Pharmacy, we appreciate our loyal customers and want to thank you by offering you a copay pass. With the Hall Family Pharmacy Customer Loyalty Program, come by the pharmacy and pick up a punch card. Every time you fill a prescription, you will get a punch on the card. When the card is full, bring it in and get your copay pass. It's a simple way for us to say thank you for your business. So stop by Hall Family Pharmacy to get your Customer Loyalty Program punch card today. Through our 50 years of service at Monday Funeral Home, we've adapted the services we provide to reflect the needs and desires of the families we assist. We can help you arrange a special commemorative ceremony at a reception hall, a local park, or sporting event. These types of gatherings can be informal and relaxed, providing an excellent way to share memories and build new traditions of love and respect. Monday Funeral Home, Jamestown and Clark Range, celebrating 50 years of caring family service. Our roots are right here in this area. As a community credit union, many of us were born and raised in the communities that we serve. Because of that, we make our decisions right here at the credit union. Some places have local branches. We have local roots. Upper Cumberland Federal Credit Union, a better way to bank. Federally insured by NCUA. Online at ucfcu.org. We're getting set for this one to get underway here. Thanks for joining us here on CPTV, our our video uh, coverage of uh, volleyball action. I hope you enjoyed the earlier game tonight as that was the replay of the Monterey game. This is going to be the replay of the Clark Range Van Buren game and the Lady Buffaloes, as we said, on a three-game skid looking to break that here tonight and pick up a much-needed win as they take on the Van Buren County Lady Eagles. But Van Buren County comes in. 4-2 on the season, and more importantly, they're 3-0 and in district play. Speaking of District 3A, of course, uh, besides Clark Range, you have Bledsoe County, Monterey, Harriman, Oakdale, Wartburg, Coalfield, and Van Buren County are the teams that make up District 3A. And right now, the Van Buren County girls look to be at the top of the district, while Clark Range uh, head down toward the bottom of the district. So a win here tonight. We'll get Clark Range right back in the hunt for one of those upper echelon brackets. Uh, coming up tournament time, that's going to be very, very important if they can get back in and uh, get back into the contention for one of those top spots and get a host some of the uh, first round of the uh, district tournament. We're set for this one to get underway, and uh, we'll be back out right after this with our starting lineups. Nothing says breakfast like biscuits. Nothing says biscuits like breakfast. And with McDonald's two for four dollar breakfast lineup, you can get the most biscuity, breakfasty biscuit breakfast ever. McDonald's biscuits are scratch made every day. You can get both the savory and flaky buttermilk crispy chicken biscuit made with all white meat chicken breast and the bacon, egg and cheese biscuit, which is brushed with butter and made with applewood smoked bacon. The choice is easy with McDonald's two for four dollar breakfast. Single item at regular price at participating McDonald's for a limited time. Scratch made biscuits are available in most restaurants in the viewing area. And we're getting set for action now as the final warm-ups are over and we're getting set for play as Clark Range, as we said, comes in one and three and much needed of a, a district win as they need uh, to pick one up here and break this three-game skid while Van Buren County comes in four and two and three and oh in district play. As we get set for the first one, as we said, the JV team, uh, Van Buren County took the JV game two games to one as they won 25 to eight and 15 to 12 in the last two. They won the last two. Clark Range took the opening set 25-23. And we'll see what the Lady Buffaloes can do here. They're gonna be starting with their normal lineup here in just a moment, I would assume. Of, uh, let's see, it'll be Walker, Bailey Cantrell, Katie Horst, Chloe Howard, Maggie Reagan, Alexis Bowles, and the libero will be uh, Emma McDonald. You'll see a lot of Grace Stackhouse as well. Might see a lot of number 35, uh, Kayla Clifton. She played very well in that JV game, and she's going to begin some time with the varsity and a great digger. She's able to play very good uh, on the uh, dig, so we'll see if we get to see her. Uh, see, Clark Range will be starting with Katie Horse. They've got Bailey Cantrell. You've got Emma Walker. You've got Alexis Bowles, uh, Maggie Reagan and Chloe Howard, the 
starting six for your Lady Buffaloes. And for Van Buren County, they're going to be starting with number eight. Or actually number nine, that is Emma Scroggins, will be serving for them to be their first serve. Their libero will be number 10, or actually number 20, uh, Jalen Hankins, or actually number 10. Uh, now it's number 10, but I don't have number 10 on my roster. Maybe they get the... Uh, and uh, I'll see if I can get one of those guys to give me that. And our family serve is going to be back to Howard. Howard is in, it's hit straight down by number 12. Good job there by Hannah Sullivan was waiting on that one as Howard got over just over the net and Sullivan put it down, and it's one nothing Van Buren County. Serve now is going to be a line drive, and Reagan, good dig by Reagan to get that one out. They'll set it up now as uh, – so they'll just pop it over, and now Clark Range can't get it over as it hits the light and comes back down, and Clark Range can't make the play, and it's 2-0 Van Buren County. Van Buren County with a 2-0 lead in this one. Serving again is Scroggins. Scroggins with that line drive serve. Good job by Cantrell. And Van Buren County sets up quick, takes a quick over on two. Horst up to Cantrell. Cantrell gets it across. They'll set it up now and uh, put over by number 12. Back the other way. Van Buren County setting it up, and they'll try to drive it down. They do. Good job there by number 12. And that is Sullivan. Sullivan uh, with two big kills right off the bat. Gives the Lady Eagles a 3-0 advantage. Serving it up will be Scroggins. Scroggins, a line drive, and that one probably would have been out, but Howard tried to make the play on it. And it's going to be a 4 nothing lead now for the Lady Eagles. Lady Eagles with a 4 nothing lead. And going back will be Scroggins once again. <coughs> Emma Scroggins going to serve again. And she serves and tried to walk Walker. Now, oh, there's a carry on number 12. She called that one and tried to do a, almost a basketball dunk style over the net and was called for it. And it goes back now to the Lady Buffaloes, their first point of the game. And coming in now will be Kayla Clifton. Clifton will come in for Walker. Clifton, as we said, played in that JV game. A very good serve. And that's a perfect serve, and Van Buren County can't handle it. So Clifton with the first, second point now for the Lady Buffaloes on the serve. Clifton, the serve, and that one's going to go into the net. So now it's a 5-2 Van Buren County lead. And serving it up for Van Buren County will be number 13. That is Young. Her serve up to Bowles. Bowles hits it up. Hits the ceiling. Nobody comes after it, and it falls uh, down. And now it's a 6-2 lead for Van Buren County. Set to serve once again will be number 13, Young. Young, another good serve. Bowles will make the play over to Horse. Horse sets it up for Howard. Howard tries to kill, but hits it into the net. Howard uh, coming on that, getting that one on the way down instead of the way up. You got to go on the way up to get it. Come in, almost always hit it into the net. That serve's going to be into the net by number 13, Young, and it'll give Clark Range a point. We see Stackhouse checking in now for Maggie Reagan. Reagan going to come out. And it will be. Cantrell to serve. Cantrell with a shot. Good serve. That up by Van Buren County. They'll try to pop it over and can't do it. Is that time short arm it just a little bit with Sullivan and it falls into the net. And it's a 7 4 Van Buren lead. Cantrell the serve. Good, another good serve. Back to the back row. Be sent up front and they'll push it across. Cantrell, good job getting that back across. And uh, Van Buren will set it up now. Sullivan goes up, and good job by Clifton on that one. And Howard. Howard puts it down, but a little too far and out of play. And now coming in uh, for Van Buren County is number 32, Baker, back in. Baker comes in, and it's an 8-4 Van Buren County lead. Also coming into the game, uh, Taylor Robinson. Robinson checks in. It will be Baker's serve. Saw Baker serving that JV game. She can hit the ball well. Cantrell, good play over to Horst. Horst to Howard. Howard's going to take it across. 
He'll kick it over now, and Howard goes up to a challenge, but can't uh, stop now. And, ooh, number 14 awfully close to the end of the net. As yeah, she puts it down as Scroggins, Riley Scroggins went up and knocked it down. She was very close to about touching the net on that one. 9-4 ball game now. Serve on this one. Bowles will put it up uh, to uh, Clifton. Clifton will get it across. He'll set it. Bowles over to Cantrell. Cantrell across it. Great shot by Cantrell. On the sideline, she gets it to go. And now Clark Range picks up a point and cut it to five. Clark Range needs some big serves from Horst here. Horst. Serving right into the net. Uh, as uh, Clark Range has served this season, has really been their Achilles heel. They really give away a lot of points. It's 11 to 5 now in favor of Van Buren County. Going back to serve, number 23, Austin. That one hits the net and trickles over. So, a fortuitous hop on that one for Austin. And it falls in. It's a 12 5 lead now for Van Buren County. Austin. Serving again, and that's a shot put up by a horse down to Cantrell. Cantrell take it across. They'll set it up. Have to take it across. Then horse, good job back deep to Cantrell. Cantrell across. Uh, down Van Buren can have set it up. They'll try to have right. Oh, great play by Stackhouse. That goes back over, and uh, Stackhouse a great block, but a great dig by Van Buren County. Van Buren County able to dig that one out. Stackhouse met him up there and blocked it. A great play by Stackhouse, but then they dug it out of the net and was able to make the play, and now that one's going to – and that one's come bringing down the house as uh, the screen over the uh, light up there comes crashing to the ground. And Coach Lamar Rogers just had a stroke, folks. We <laughs> got <laughs> And – And now it's going to be McDonald coming back in for Howard. McDonald will come in for Howard. And Walker comes back in for Clifton. So Clifton will come out and Walker will come back in. Clark Range puts up their bigger line and served by McDonald out just outside the Line, so it's a 13 to 6 ball game. 13 to 6. Back to serve for Van Buren County is Taylor Robinson. Robinson serve. Back line, good job by McDonald. Walker, good dig there. Horst will take it across, and it's hit in the net, and good play by Horst on that one to get it across. As now Reagan will come back in, and Stackhouse will come out. Stackhouse, that good block a moment ago. Just a great dig out, though, by Van Buren County to get it up and over. Van Buren County up on top now, 13-7. That one's going to be hit out of play. And it's going to be Clark Range picking up a point as Reagan comes in. Maggie with the first serve. I'm going to say a good server because he does that. It jinxes them every time. Van Buren can't go work this one up, try to get it across. They will, and that's a little just push shot over, up and over. Good job there by number nine, Scroggins. And Scroggins just pushed it over the leaping bowls and Walker and just dropped it in. Now come back in number 12 for Van Buren County, Hannah Sullivan. That serve's going to be out. And so Clark Range gets it right back. It's 15-9 now, Clark, or 14-9. Van Buren County on top of Clark Range. Bowles going to serve. Bowles a good serve, and that's a drops in there for an ace, and it's going to make it a four-point game. Good serve by Alexis. Alexis the serve, another good serve. That one's brought up good dig. And Van Buren County going to have to poke it over. Reagan will set up Reagan. Up for Cantrell, and Cantrell just put it over. Good job by Cantrell. Cantrell try to put it down, it does. Great shot by Cantrell. Van Buren County dig it out, just went over the net, and Van Buren County uh, saw Cantrell put it down over on the left side, just getting inside. Great play by her. Now Bowles another serve, and that one's just long. 
Ball just got just a bit long, so it's now back to a four-point lead for Van Buren County, 15 to 11. Played at 25 in these first four games, and then the final game will be. And that was way out of bounds uh, by number nine, Scroggins. Scroggins using that uh, MMA-style serve. There she goes, uses the fist to kind of punch it across. So now it's going to be Walker back to serve. Emma, first serve, good serve. Back line, that one's going to be just over. And Horst and Cantrell put it down. Now that one's just going to be just over, and Cantrell hits it into the net. Good try by the Lady Buffaloes, but come up short, and they now trail again by four. Game one of the best of five set. That one's going to be over. Good play by Howard. Dig that one. And Buren County set it up. He'll drive. Oh, and Reagan had she let that one go would have been out. But Reagan trying to make the play on it. Hits it in. That gives it back to Van Buren County. And they go up by a nickel. Van Buren County by five now. Going back to serve is number 13. And she serves that one out. And Van Buren County in that JV game really served well. But they're struggling here in this one. Walker and Reagan come out as McDonald and Stackhouse come back in. Cantrell, the line drive, uh, serve, uh, could not be played by Robinson. And Clark Range picks up a much-needed point, cuts this to three. 17-14, now your score. Game one of the best of five in this district matchup. Going back again uh, will be Cantrell. Cantrell, another great serve. That one's uh, it's going to go off the net and doesn't get over. Stackhouse is waiting for it, though, and it's going to be a two-point game. Clark Range comes storming back, much like the JV did in game one of theirs. They got down early and then came storming back in one the first one by two. Now, that one's going to be long as Cantrell uh, just hit that one long. And Van Buren County do a little switching now as back in comes the number 14, Scroggins. Also back in number 32, Desiree Baker. And there's the line drive taken by McDonald to Horst. Horst to Stackhouse. Stackhouse hits it into the net. Just didn't get it over, and it's back to a four-point lead now for Van Buren County here in game one. Baker going to serve it. Baker with the serve. Line drive taken by McDonald. Horst will send it up to Howard. Howard will punch it across. Good job by Howard on that one. And the shot. Now it'll be Cantrell to Horst. Horst over to Stackhouse and Stackhouse. Good shot. Puts it down, but can't get it to go. And now going up for the block is Howard. She had the block, but it come out on her side. Couldn't do anything with it. So a good play there by number 22, Taylor Robinson on the kill. And now that one to right at Bowles and Bowles. Uh, it probably would have been out of bounds, but Bowles had nowhere to go. That one tries, tried to make the play on it. Now it's going to be 21-15. Van Buren County by six in game one. Playing at 25. Service again. That one's back. Uh, Cantrell will make the play to Horst. Horst over to Howard. Howard hits that one straight down into the ground. And uh, it's a 22-7, 22-15 game now. Baker the serve. Bowles. To Horst. Horst going to take it over herself. Going to send it up now to number 14. She'll drive it down. Good job by Bowles. Over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse, great shot by Stackhouse. And that one saved back in. Good job by Van Buren County to dig that one out. And now Horst going to send it across. Get up again and just tipped over. And Howard uh, tried to make the play on, but it's going to be out of bounds. Good play by Van Buren County, and we got a timeout called by Clark Range. Timeout on the floor. It's Van Buren County, 23, Clark Range, 15. Back to school season is here. Start the year off right by building the perfect entertainment package for you and your family. With Twin Lakes, the more you bundle, the more you save, which means you get high-speed broadband, HDTV, voice, and security monitoring, all while putting extra money back in your pocket. Perfect for those last-minute must-haves for the school year. Learn more about bundling with Twin Lakes by visiting any of the seven local offices or online at twinlakes.net. T insert number C-0026. So Clark Range now trails by eight. It cut it down to three at one point, but Van Buren County's pulled back out in the lead in this one. 
And Van Buren County is two points away from taking game one of this best of five set. De uh, Desiree Baker will go back to serve again. She is a great server for Van Buren County. And she'll go back to serve again. Baker, the serve is going to be a line drive back to Cantrell. Up to horse to horse, going to take it up. And Stackhouse will punch it across. Good job by Stackhouse. Stackhouse gets the score, and the Lady Buffaloes cut it to seven. Stackhouse is steadily improving, able to get another good play there. He had a couple of good plays tonight, but uh, Van Buren County made even better plays to get back across. Now the serve going to go to the back line. It'll be pushed across by Van Buren County. Up in Van Buren County, I'll pop it across on two. Horst will set it up for Cantrell. She'll put it across. And they'll set it up for Robinson. Robinson tries to put it down, and it's going to go down. McDonald made the dive for it, couldn't come up with it. Going back now will be number 23 to serve. That's Gracie Austin. Austin line drive to Bowles. Up to Horst. Horst down. Bowles is going to take it across. Good job, Bob. Bowles on that one. Uh, sent it across, and uh, Clark Range will set it back up. And that time, Horst uh, got it off to the side, and it's going to be out of play. And Van Buren Kelly takes game one. The Lady Eagles won it 25 16. They'll go away. We'll be back for game two in just a moment. Confidence. The one word you have to have when you choose a pharmacy. And Clark Range Drug Center has worked hard to earn yours. Whether filling a prescription or giving advice on non-prescription medicine or health and beauty aids, Clark Range Drug Center is the place to go for expert advice. Clark Range Drug Center, always earning your confidence. At Union Bank, we offer services to suit your busy lifestyle. And we are proud to offer the MyUB mobile app. MyUB Mobile provides an easier way to manage your money when you're on the go. With Union Bank's MyUB Mobile app, you get convenient features such as electronic transfers, bill pay, and mobile check deposit, and you can enjoy instant secure access to all your accounts anytime, anywhere. The MyUB Mobile app provides you with convenient banking at your fingertips. Stop by any Union Bank location today for more info. Union Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Well, we're set for game two here in just a moment. Uh, Van Buren County you took the first one uh, pretty handily, 25-16. So it's 25-16, and now it's a one uh, game to none lead for Van Buren County. Uh, you need three to win this one. And as we said, it's uh, best three out of five. So we'll see what happens here in game two as uh, good uh, performance by Stackhouse in that first one for the Lady Buffaloes. We'll see you can... Come on here in this second half. They need to get something going. You know, Clark Range has lost three straight games and three straight district games, so that's tough when you've lost three in a row. And they've got to try to break the skid here, and they're playing the undefeated uh, Van Buren County Lady Eagles. So we'll see what Clark Range has got up their sleeve here as they've got to make some changes and get something going here. Van Buren County, very tough. They're playing very, very well right now. Van Buren County... Comes back out with number 13, Young. They've got number 23, Austin. They've got number 22, Robinson. they got number 14, Scroggins. Number 9 is the other Scroggins, Riley and Emma Scroggins. And number 13 is uh, Gabby Young, as we said. Four Clark Rangers are coming back with Howard, Horst, Cantrell, Reagan, Bowles, and Walker. Here we go. We're set for game two. Clark Range trailing one to nothing. Needs a win in this one. You don't want to fall behind 2-0 early. As we're set for the serve by Walker. Walker, a good serve. Van Buren County going to have to save it back in the play. And he'll take it across. Walker will put it up. Worst will bring it back now. Cantrell's going to have to take it across. Does a good job. Take it up. Van Buren County going to have to poke it across. And now it's going to be Horst setting it up for Howard. Howard hits it into the ground. 
Howard really struggling with her timing on that tonight. She drives that one into the ground. It's a one nothing Van Buren game. Like Van Buren lead. one nothing Van Buren County has. Serve going to be a line drive. Gives up a good serve. Horst will put it just over. Pushing back across Van Buren County's uh, Scrog is now a great shot uh, by Reagan. Going to drop in there, and it's a 1-1 ball game. 1-1 the score as Cantrell now will serve. Cantrell, a good, good serve, pushed up. And going up is Sullivan. Sullivan trying to find the spot. Couldn't get but she's going to be there to knock it down, though, when it comes back over the edge. Good job of Sullivan. you got to be impressed with uh, Hannah Sullivan. She's doing a job for the Lady Eagles, especially on that net. And the serve now is going to be into the net as that time uh, Gabby Young put it into the net. And Clark Range gets a break, and we're tied at two apiece. It's a set Clark Range needs to win. It'll be Horst. The serve and a good one there in back line. And Muir County sets it up well, and Sullivan, great shot. Sullivan just used that little touch shot to put it down on the line, and Clark Range is going up uh, trying to block it each time, and they're not able to get to it. She just kind of poked it over, what they call a shrimp shot, into that right side over there. Now Baker will serve. Baker with a drill, and that one's going to go off McDonald, and it's 4-2 Van Buren County. Clark Range having trouble with Baker's serve, especially Baker is an excellent server for Van Buren County. And she hit it into the net. I would say that, though. I say it every time, and every, every time you say it, the kid hits it into the net. So I guess I got that jinx going on as looks like McDonald's going to stay in and Howard's going to come out. Howard comes out and I guess his Walker come back in now. They shot by McDonald. Oh, that trickles over. McDonald gets a lucky hop on that one, and we're tied at four apiece. Mm -hmm. Howard's get, or I should say uh, McDonald gets that lucky roll on that one. Sets this one. Now she's going to drill this one way too hard now to play. Howard uh, hitting it way too long, and it's a 5-4 Van Buren County lead. Back to do the serving now will be number 23. That is Austin. Austin, a good job serving and almost had to play on that one. As that's out on me. That's my, my call. I missed that one. As that's going to make it 6 4 Van Buren County as the serve now all the way back. That's going to be long. Good job by Clark Range. Let that one go. And they get back within one. Stackhouse now to serve. Don't see Stackhouse serving a whole lot, but this time she serves and, and puts a good one in there. So number 14, left will take it across. Stackhouse, good job digging that one out. That's going to be the horse to horse. Uh, can't get it over, though, as she was too close in. And it's going to be 7-5 now, Van Buren County. Reagan will come back in. Reagan in place of Stackhouse. And the serve going to be on the line. Good serve that time by number 22, Robinson. Miss Robinson puts it down on the sideline and gets the point. It's an 8-5 Van Buren County lead. Robinson again. Back to Walker. Walker going to put too much on that one, trying to take it back across. It goes out of bounds. 9-5 Van Buren County starting to open up a little bit now. Serve again. That one's going to go into Cantrell. Bakes play over to Horst. Horst will take it across. That one's taken down by, by number 14. Clark Rain's got a shot. If Reagan can get it over, does. Good dig by Cantrell. Now the serve over. And that one's going to be hit into the net by Scroggins. Scroggins hits it in the net. And Clark Rain gets a point back. Good dig out there by Cantrell. Back will go. Bowles down to serve. Alexis first serves a good one. Back line. Seve taking back cross. Now uh, Reagan with the uh, play. Over to uh, Cantrell. Cantrell gets it across. Now taking over on two was uh, Robinson. Now set over to uh, ba Bailey Cantrell. And she uh, hits that one. Missed times a little bit and it goes into the net. And that's going to be a 10-6 lead for Van Buren County. 
Park Rangers, not quite the height they had a year ago, but they still got some good players and had some leapers last year. Now that line drive, good job by Reagan. Put over by Horst. Horst, good play. That's going to cross. Walker is going to get that one over to Cantrell. Cantrell take it across. Scroggins over to, Robin, or to Robinson. Robinson tries to put down. Can't go now across the net. And uh, it's hit. Good by, by Reagan. Reagan, good play. And uh, Cantrell, a good play. And now Robinson going to set it up. And they'll take it across. Good job by Reagan to go down and get that one. Now Cantrell will hit it. And it's just going to be just long. Cantrell hits it out on the right side, and it's now an 11-6 Van Buren game. That one's going to be way long uh, by number 14 as Scroggins put a little too much mustard on that one. Howard's going to come back in for that front line as McDonald goes out, and Walker will serve. Walker will serve, and that one's going to be short, and uh, that will bring McDonald back in for Walker. Our Rangers service game has really hurt them here tonight. They trail 12 to seven now in game two. This one by Scroggins is out on the right side. Emma Scroggins hit that one out on the right side and now Stackhouse comes back in for Reagan. Stackhouse will come in. Serve good one uh, back to the back line. That one hits the uh, support now. The Van Buren will get it across though. Horst, and just across the line, and it's put back by Sullivan. They're setting Sullivan up. Sullivan's going to take it, drive down. Good play by McDonald. They're setting Sullivan up again. She'll put that little shrimp shot over that side again, and she has burnt Clark Range on their left side all night long with that little shrimp shot that just gets over the players and drops in. That's back to a five-point advantage now for Van Buren County. Serve, and that one's going to be in the back line to Cantrell. Good return by Cantrell to take it across. And Sullivan again pushes across. McDonald to Horst. Horst will cross it. Back over. Now taking it on the two is the Sull or with Scroggins, and Clark Rains can't get it out of the net, and it's going to be a point for Van Buren County. Timeout by Clark Rains. Timeout on the floor. It's 14-8. Van Buren County leads one game to none. Everyone likes to be rewarded for a job well done, and R&T Trophies, located at 913 Old Highway 127 South, has any size trophies, plaques, and engravable awards and gifts. They also carry sports keychains, clocks, desk accessories, plastic engraved door and wall signs, and sport lapel pins. R&T also can put your favorite photo on 10-inch melamine plates. For more information, stop by their location in the H&R Block Building or call owners Roger and Teresa Tompkins at 879-6575. Well, Clark Range is uh, trailing now by six, and they already have lost game one, so they can ill afford to lose this, and you go down 2-0, uh, two -oh, you're going to have to win the next three in a row, so it's going to be tough sledding for the Lady Buffaloes if they can't come back in this one. Coach Stowers calling timeout. And back will come Clark Range onto the floor, Van Buren County back on the floor. And serving it up now will be uh, number 13, Gabby Young. Young serve to Howard. Howard going to take it right back to her. Young going to put it up. And that's over to Robinson. Robinson takes it across. Now up, and they'll set up Robinson. Robinson will push it across. And there it goes in the net, and, and the Stackhouse can't play it out of the net. 15-8 the score. Van Buren County by seven. And now the sir. Oh, good play by McDonald to dig that one out. He'll see it over. Sullivan will try to push it to the side. And it goes out of bounds. Good set for Sullivan there by Austin, but uh, Sullivan just hit it out of bounds. Horse now coming up for Clark Rain's got to have some serves from Katie. There's a good one starting as Van Buren County sets back, sets it up. Setting up Sullivan. Sullivan had a little shrimp shot, and Bowles draw back, played it well that time. Now Stackhouse going to put it across. Good job of Stackhouse. Hit on this one. It's a long drive back, and McDonald coming to Cantrell. Cantrell take it across. Now they're setting up uh, Robbins, or Sullivan again. Good job by McDonald, and it's hit in the net by Cantrell. 
McDonald might have been better off to let that one go on, but now we've got some subs for Van Buren County, and here comes uh, their serving machine, Desiree Baker. Baker with a serve, a line drive, and Howard hits it right back. Good job by Howard. He'll set it up, and this time it'll be taken across. Horse going to take it for Clark Range. Over to Stackhouse, and she hits it. Can't get it over the net, and that's going to make it a 17-9 lead for Van Buren County. Van Buren County. The serve going to be straight back. Going to be Horse coming in to make the play. Good job by Katie. As that one's going to be tough, they're going to play it off the sport and taking it across number 13. Good job by Van Buren. Howard takes it across for Clark Range. And he'll hit back. Cantrell with it to Horst. Horst over to uh, Bowles. Bowles takes it across. Setting it up and number 14, uh, Scroggins, uh, taking it off for Van Buren. And now Horst hits it a little too far for Howard, and it's going to be doubling up the Lady Buffaloes. Van Buren County with an 18-9 lead. Going to 25. Baker the serve again back to the back line. Cantrell will hit it. It gets over, but it hits the ceiling, and that if it gets the ceiling, goes over. It's uh, out. So Clark Range now trails by 10. First double digit lead by Van Buren County. And then uh, Baker hits it into the net. Baker has uh, probably the best serve of Van Buren County. And that time she just hit it into the net. So McDonald now steps up to serve for the Lady Buffaloes, who trail by nine. McDonald with a drill, and that was a good one by McDonald, and they can't save it. Good serve by McDonald. McDonald needs to stay back. McDonald has a habit of just really drilling it across the line. She needs to stay back farther. And this time she's going to do it again. And another great serve uh, by McDonald. McDonald with back-to-back -back serves, and the Lady Buffaloes have cut this to seven. Emma, great job. Emma, she stays back. She really does a great job, but she comes too far forward. She's going to overhit it every time. Now another great one that serves at the back line. Van Buren sets it up. Mrs. Robinson uh, takes it across. And now it's back over uh, to uh, Austin. Austin will take it across. Walker takes it across for Clark Range. Up Robinson again. And Robinson going to really get too much on that one. Sends it out of bounds deep on the end. McDonald. McDonald, another great serve by McDonald. McDonald's having a good game here. Put it over to Cantrell. Cantrell to Horst. Horst back over. Cantrell take it across. Van Buren sets it for number 14. That one's going to be out of play. And that's uh, Scroggins. Riley Scroggins put too much on it. Clark Rangers cut it to five. They trailed by 10 a moment ago. Now down to five. McDonald's another great serve as that one caught the top of the net. As Robinson went to play, it caught the top of the net, and it was out of her ability to come up with it. And Clark Rangers stormed back to within four. We got a timeout on the floor. This is a critical time for our nation. It's hard to know what to believe in. One thing we know is true. The National Rifle Association has endorsed John Mark Wendell for his vigorous defense of the Second Amendment freedoms. John Mark Wendell is solid pro-gun and pro-hunting and has earned NRA's endorsement and an A-plus rating. Paid for by John Mark Wendell. Well, Clark Range has cut it to four on the service of a McDonald. McDonald's going to some great serving right now. He's keep this going as the Lady Buffaloes need this game badly. They already trailed one game to none in this best of five set. So McDonald will step back to serve. Emma going to step back there and serve it up again. 19-15 the score. And, uh, sir, and that one, oh, just short as McDonald got that kind of on the end of her fingers and it's into the net. So that breaks Clark Range's run. It's back to a five point lead for Van Buren County and Austin stepping back to serve. Austin punches across. Uh, good job by Stackhouse. And now McDonald stopped as McDonald Horst went after it. They stopped, both stopped, and it lands in, and it's a 21 15 ball game. 
Austin again, another serve. This one into the net. Austin with that short arm serve. You either hit it just over the net or into the net. Our Rangers need some big serves from Reagan here. Reagan with that first one, a good serve by Reagan. Reagan then makes, kind of makes the play, but uh, nobody get to it, and it's going to be a point for Van Buren County. They're now three away from taking game two. Being up two games to none, the best of five set. And this one's going to be back to Reagan. Reagan bowls up to McDon or to uh, Cantrell gets it over. And then uh, served uh, across. Good job, Horst will take it and take it across. And they'll put it to the back line to McDonald. McDonald to Horst, Horst over to Walker. Walker will punch it over. Good job by Walker. And good job by Van Buren Kane to dig it. Horst now will take it across. Austin over to Scroggins. Now back up Walker. Oh, Walker got the tip on. Just got it hung on the top of the net. And comes back on Clark Range's side. Clark Range. Almost got the uh, big play there. But now it's 23-16 in Van Buren County, two points away from winning this one. First serve to uh, Cantrell. She'll get it up to two horse, back to Cantrell. Cantrell take it across. Ball come up now and taken over by Scroggins. Up to Cantrell. Cantrell put it across. Austin over number 13. She'll put it across, and Horse comes up with a big play. Good job by Cantrell to bring it over. Ball goes up, man, pushing it over number 14. Pushed right back over by Horst. And now a uh, play, good play there by Van Buren County to get it across. Now McDonald, good dig by McDonald's having a good court, a good game. And now they're going to send it back, and that'll be Walker. Good job by Walker taking it over. McDonald to Horst. Horst up to Walker. Walker will send it over. Van Buren will uh, take it over. Walker going to put it down, but they couldn't get the play. Great play, and that'll be one too many. Great play by Emma Walker on that one. Walker timed that one perfectly. Put it down, and uh, nobody could come up with it for Van Buren County. They made a gallant effort at it, just couldn't come up with it and get it across. So Clark Range breaks the serve, and it's now a six-point game. Balls with a great serve, an ace on that one. Alexis, a great serve there. Makes it 23 to 18. Balls. Uh, oh, that serve caught the top of the net, comes back, and that's game point coming up for Van Buren County. And going back to serve uh, will be number 14, Scroggins. She'll send it long, and Clark Range gets a break there. Back to a five-point game. Clark Range got to make some run at this. Right here. Walker hits it, and that one, oh, into the net, and that's your ball game. Van Buren County takes game number two, 25-19. They took game one, 25-16. They're one game away from taking this match. Whether you're competing on the athletic field or working hard in the classroom, remember you have the support of First Volunteer Bank, the bank with personality. We're behind you 100% of the way. Good luck to all the area teams. Play tough and play fair. And remember, when it comes to helping you with your banking needs, we're First Volunteer Bank, the bank with personality. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. And now over. Over. Are you still filling your prescriptions at a chain or big box pharmacy? This is Philip Hall encouraging you to make the switch to Hall Family Pharmacy. When you do business with Hall Family Pharmacy, you're helping to support local schools and organizations because we reinvest your money right back into the community we call home. Each prescription filled at a locally owned pharmacy is money kept in the community. Stop by or give us a call at one of our convenient locations in Jamestown or Clark Range and our helpful staff will help you make the switch today. At Mundy Funeral Home, we understand the special needs of your family as they begin the grieving process. Reflections on a loved one can lead to the recollection of some of the very best memories. At Mundy Funeral Home, our funeral services acknowledge the life and accomplishments of your loved one and the many ways that they touched your life and the lives of those around you.
Mundy Funeral Home, serving the families of the Upper Cumberlands with caring family service for half a century. I care about the environment, so I do what I can. When I saw how much paper I was wasting each month, I decided to sign up for e-statements at my credit union. I get a clear, accurate statement online without all the service charges. Upper Cumberland Federal Credit Union, a better way to bank. Federally insured by NCUA. Online at ucfcu.org. And here we go, game three. Uh, Van Buren County with a 2 nothing lead. If they take this one, they take the match. As Van Buren County will lead out, they'll uh, serve up will be Emma Scroggins. Scroggins will serve. Scroggins into the net, and Clark Range, I think this may be the first lead of the night for Clark Range. That may be the first lead of the entire night for Clark Range. They lead it one to nothing. Walker now. Good serve to the back line. And they're going to take it over, and they take it over, and they let that one go. Clark Range up two to nothing. Clark Range out with a quick lead. Van Buren County needs just one more game to win this one. That one serves going to be out of play, and uh, Walker gets one in, one out, and it's a 2-1 Clark Range lead. Van Buren County's number 13 that steps out, Gabby Young. Young across the good dig by Bowles. Young couldn't get it across, and it falls back on Van Buren's side. So Clark Range with a three to one lead. Stackhouse will come in for Reagan now. Cantrell serving. Good serve, and that one's going to be well out of play by Van Buren County. Good serve by Bailey. Clark Range out to a 4-1 lead in this one. And so this is a have to win for Clark Range. They've got to win the next three to take this match. Another good serve. Another great serve by Cantrell. As number 22, Robinson, couldn't handle that one. Cantrell go back. Two good serves in a row. They lead it 5-1. Serve again, good serve. That one hits the thing, and it's back up again. And Van Buren County can't make the play. They actually hit the lot twice with that one. And Clark Range jumped out to a five-point lead. 6-1 now the score. And Cantrell again, another good serve. And Van Buren County gets it across. Bowls over to Cantrell. Cantrell take it across. They'll send it up, and they'll squib that one over. Horst will be there. Van Buren sit down and blocked by Howard. Great play by Howard to meet that one at the line. Robinson took it over, and Chloe was waiting on that one. Uh, drives it down, and the Lady Buffaloes go up by six. And that's the way we expect the Lady Buffaloes to see them play. They're playing really well here in this one. Cantrell, another good serve, and it's an eight-one ball game. And we got a timeout called by Van Buren County. Timeout on the floor. It's 8-1, Clark Range in game three. Okay, I can do this. This is part of my journey. My time to shine. Ooh, I can't wait to see everyone's eyes light up when I come back with their refreshing, delicious McCafe coffee shakes and drinks. This is my moment. I am the drink runner. Welcome to McDonald's. How can I help you? Own the drink run, Lily. Own it. Now on McDonald's one two three dollar menu, get any size soft drink or sweet tea for one dollar, or small McCafe for two dollars. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Well, the Lady Buffalo's off to a great start here in game number three in this must-win game as they trail two games to one. One two three, Lady Park Range needs this one badly as they lost game one 25-16, lost game two 25-19. And now lead this one eight to one, and most of that on the service of Bailey Cantrell. She's had an outstanding job serving. Another good serve, and Van Buren County will make a play on. They get it over. Cantrell to Horst, Horst to Howard. Howard's going to take it over. And going up is uh, Sullivan, and Sullivan puts it in. 
Sullivan outstanding front line. Now he's going to switch out, and that's going to bring Desiree Baker in. Baker, the service ace for Van Buren County. She's the player that uh, they'll bring in to serve a lot, and she serves it in the net. No quicker than I say that, they she serves it into the net. So Clark Rains gets the point. It's a 9-2 ball game. Horst going back to serve. Horst. Serves it. Good serve. Back up hits the top of the building, but uh, Bambi and Kenny able to play it. Horst going to take it across. And it's going to be played there. Good play that time by number 14. Scroggins get it over. Howard got a hand on it, but Horst couldn't come up with it after that, and it's going to drop in for a 9-3. Clark Range lead. Van Buren County trying to wake their way back. Good serve by number 23, Austin, and it goes and hits the uh, lights. That light up there. Might need to replace that light before the night's <laughs> over. That's the second time. First one brought the uh, screen down over that one. So, and that one's going to hit in the net as Austin short armed that one just a little bit, and it's a 10 4 Lady Buffalo lead. And don't forget, uh, each Monday night, uh, Wednesday nights, we have volleyball action on CPTV. Each Monday night, we have uh, crush football, and every Sunday, we have York football. And now McDonald hits it off the side of her hand, and it's out of bounds. And once again, Clark Ranger's serve lets them down. Now Van Buren County will serve. Horst across. Good shot by Horst. That one drops in. And it's 11 5 lead now for Clark Range. Range on top, 11 5. Stackhouse to serve. Stackhouse, a good serve. They're playing around. That's going to be taken across. That'll be in. Or actually, uh, the. Uh, Official here call it out. It went outside the poles, out, so it did not count. And now Stackhouse, another good serve. Stackhouse uh, coming up with a good serve. Stackhouse having a good night tonight. She was our player of the first game. Stackhouse, another good serve. Back at Stackhouse to set it up. Horst up to Bowles. Bowles across. Back line. They're going to hit it across. And uh, McDonald is it. Horst will play it. And that one goes off the fence or off the net. Stackhouse will come out as Reagan checks back in. Baker comes out and back in will come Sullivan. Sullivan is the anchor for this Van Buren squad. She's really good up front. That line that drives serves going to be out of play. Scroggins hits another one out of bounds. Clark Range by eight. They need this one. Clark Range up 14 6. Bowles. Good serve. And that one hit up into the UFA. It'll be saved by Van Buren County, but Walker puts it down. Great job by Emma Walker. Emma Walker timed that one to a T and zipped that down with some authority on that one. And it's now a 15 6. Clark Rains lead. Walker with some great timing on that one. Sends it home. Bowles going to serve it up again. Bowles, another good serve by Bowles. Serves gets crossed. It'll be Cantrell over to Horse. Horse back to Cantrell. Cantrell will drive it down as Bailey with the kill. And the Lady Buffaloes have their first double-digit lead of the night. Clark Rains up 16-6. It's one of those must-win games for the Lady Buffaloes. They're going to win all three of them. Now as they're going to win three in a row. That one's going to go or knock it across the net as the back line hit it in the net. We got a timeout called by Van Buren. Timeout on the floor. It's 17-6, Clark Range. 
With Twin Lakes Future Proof Fiber Network, experience the gig difference. With up to 1,000 megabits per second, everything's different. Connect as many devices as you'd like and stream videos without buffering. Music and photos fly. Gaming gets real and nobody's left hanging. That's the gig difference with Twin Lakes. Call or visit us online at twinlakes.net to get your gig today. Some restrictions apply. Speed's not available in all areas. Well, Van Buren County came out a little lackadaisical in this one and now find themselves down by 11, and the Lady Buffalo's playing very well in this one. Great play uh, by Walkers, uh, great play by Horst and Cantrell as well as Stackhouse coming in playing very well in this game. See what the Lady Buffaloes can do, though, if they can maintain this, they need to win this one as it's the best three out of five, and they've lost the opening two. And now into the net goes the serve from Bowles. Park Ranger's serve has really let them down this entire season. They've had struggling with their serves. Now Scroggins will serve it. Good job by Reagan. Reagan, uh, Horst, good play by Horst. And Cantrell from her knees makes the play. It's pushed back. Now Bowles to Horst. Horst will put it across. Up now they're trying to set up Sullivan. And now good dig by Reagan. Good try by Walker to dig it out, but they couldn't save it. And Van Buren County's cut it to nine. 17-8 your score. Clark Range by nine. Line drive served by Van Buren County and Horst will take it across. Austin tries to put it down, can't do it. Cantrell will bring it across. Good job that time digging by Reagan, and now the shot across the hand. Bowles diving, can't make the play. 17-9, Van Buren County back within eight as they're trying to bring it on behind the service of Emma Scroggins. And Scroggins, another tough serve, and that one's going to get through. And Clark Range wants to talk about timeout on the floor. Clark Range leads it, 17-10. Van Buren County leads the match, 2-9. confidence the one word you have to have when you choose a pharmacy and Clark Range Drug Center has worked hard to earn yours whether filling a prescription or giving advice on non-prescription medicine or health and beauty aids Clark Range Drug Center is the place to go for expert advice Clark Range Drug Center always earning your confidence well Clark Range has cut this or had their lead cut down to seven they led by as many as ten but have struggled here in the last few minutes as the service by number nine, Emma Scroggins, has just been phenomenal for Van Buren what comes County. To mind when you think of you? So, uh, so we'll see what Van Buren County can continue. They got Emma Scroggins back there to serve again. And Scroggins hits it back to Bowles, and Bowles hits it off to the side. Scroggins has really come in playing well. She's. One of the toughest serves on this Van Buren squad, and she used that fifth serve. Cantrell now hit it, and he'll go off her to the left side. Mark Range now saw their double-digit lead cut to five. Van Buren County would love to get this one and get out of here three games done win. Now the serve again. It'll be Reagan to put it up. Horse to horse will take it across, and that one's going to be too long on the other side. And it's now a four-point lead for Clark Range. Van Buren County, six straight points in this one. And another one, and that one's going to be Walker taking it over. Good job by Reagan to dig that one. Van Buren County trying to put it down. They'll put it to the back line. Horst, good job getting it over. Reagan with a pl good, nice play, and then Horst punches it over. Horst going to send this one back herself on one. Ball goes over to uh, Sullivan. Sullivan. Tried it down it, but uh, good play uh, by Bowles. Get it up, and then Cantrell took it across. And a good volley here as Sullivan just going to push it to the back line. Good job by Reagan. Set. They'll push it over to the side, and good job by Bowles. They're playing that little squib shot of uh, Sullivan's much better. Now Sullivan's got to push it across. Good dig by McDonald. And good job by Reagan to put it across, and it goes... Just off the fingertips of Reagan. 
And down for Van Buren County. We got a three-point game. We got another timeout called by Clark Range. Confidence, the one word you have to have when you choose a pharmacy. And Clark Range Drug Center has worked hard to earn yours. Whether filling a prescription or giving advice on non-prescription medicine or health and beauty aids, Clark Range Drug Center is the place to go for expert advice. Clark Range Drug Center, always earning your confidence. 17-14 now, Van Buren County has come storming back. They have cut this by seven points. Now, it was a 10-point lead. For the Lady Buffaloes, it was 17-7 uh, just a few minutes ago, and now I'd say what comes to mind when you think 17-14 game. Clark Range needs to stop the bleeding here as they have struggled here in the last couple of minutes, and uh, they've done that since number nine uh, Scroggins stepped back there. Emma Scroggins, and another line drive uh, knocked up the air by Reagan, and Bowles can't get it. It's a two-point game. And Scroggins uh, going to have to drop back and serve again. Mark Range needs a miscue from Scroggins, but she won't get there. It's that one to Cantrell, and now the horse will take it over. Scroggins up to Sullivan. Sullivan puts it down, and it's a one-point game. Van Buren County with nine unanswered points has cut this to one. And the Lady Eagles are looking impressive here. And the serve. The horse will get it up. Cantrell, Cantrell, take it all the way across herself. Ball goes over to Sullivan. Sullivan will script it, but there is Bowles. And they're not going to be beat by that little uh, dump shot over on the side. Now Austin has to take it across, and nobody gets it. Ball between two Clark Range players, and Van Buren County has come all the way back to tie this game at 17 apiece. And to say Big Moe's move to the other end of the floor is a Great big understatement now. Now another great serve. Reagan going to serve it up. The horse, horse cross, and it'll be put up by Scroggins. Scroggins and Sullivan will take it across. Hit up by a horse. Now back across. Austin puts it back across. Horse will take it back across for the Lady Buffaloes. And the dump on the far side is good by number 13, Scroggins. And Van Buren County has taken back the lead. Van Buren County now leads it 18 to 17. Another good serve. Uh, and uh, that's going to be Scroggins setting up Sullivan. Sullivan drives it down, but good job by McDonald and by Bailey. I guess got, hand, got it over. And now back to the back line. The good job by McDonald. They'll send it across this time. It's going to be put across, and McDonald can't get to that one. A dive and try, but couldn't get to it. And now it's 1917, Van Buren County. And the serve back there is to Cantrell. Cantrell cross it on one. They'll set it up and put a cross and down uh, by Scroggins. And we're going to send in now number 35. Uh, back in the game will come. Uh, Clifton, Clifton uh, replaces Bowles. Clifton uh, played good in that first game. But now Van Buren County has taken the lead and uh, they have 13 unanswered points now as they'll set it up and up goes Sullivan. Sullivan drives play down. McDonald takes it back across, but it's out of play. 21-70, 14 unanswered points by Van Buren County and they have gotten on a roll here to Behind the service of Scroggins. Emma Scroggins has just been deadly. Now this one goes across and it's a little shot. No, and Clifton dies for it. Got a hand on it, but couldn't get it up. And now it's a 22-17 game. And uh, it's one of the biggest comebacks and one of the biggest roles I've seen in uh, high school volleyball. Now the serve's going to be out of play. And it's 23-17, a six-point lead for Van Buren County. They're two points away from taking this match. Van Buren County's uh, serve is another good one, and Walker going to get this one across. Scroggins will sit up the other Scroggins, and she'll drive back to McDonald. 
up to Clifton. Clifton takes it across. And now the set back, McDonald. Horst, Horst to Cantrell. Cantrell across it. Now to Austin. Austin going to hit that one. Dink McDonald going to play it. Horst set up by Van Buren County. They'll take it up. And there's Sullivan again, drives it down. And now it's going to be out of play by McDonald. It's 24 17. And you have match point as serving for match point will be Van Buren County's Emma Scroggins. And if she gets this one, that one up in the air goes across. And Scroggins going to take it across on two. Horse takes it over. Scroggins back to Sullivan. Sullivan to Clifton. Clifton to Horse. And Horse takes it over. Now Scroggins tries to dump it. Clifton will set it, or Scroggins will set it up and run it down is a Sullivan. And Van Buren County comes back from a 10 point deficit and wins. They scored on that, uh, they scored 18 unanswered points. So 18 unanswered points by the uh, Lady Eagles on the serve of Emma Scroggins. Emma Scroggins with 18 straight serves. Comes back to win that one, 25 to 17. And the Lady Buffaloes now fall to one and four on the season. Van Buren County now four and zero in the district. They are five and two in overall action on the year. We're going to take a timeout uh, for this. We'll be back in just a few moments. We'll take and uh, take a look at how this one went. We'll also take a look at how the JV game went, and we'll have our Halls Player of the Game coming up in just a moment. Bank words like hometown, local, service, and strength. You might not think of words like high tech or mobile. This is Bryant Johnson. At Union Bank, we are proud to combine the strength of over 100 years of service with the convenience of today's technology. As always, you can stop in for a warm cup of coffee and talk to one of our friendly tellers or simply deposit your check or transfer money right from your mobile phone. Union Bank, honoring the past, embracing the future. Visit our website or stop by today to learn more. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Everyone likes to be rewarded for a job well done, and R&T Trophies, located at 913 Old Highway 127 South, has any size trophies, plaques, and engravable awards and gifts. They also carry sports keychains, clocks, desk accessories, plastic engraved door and wall signs, and sport lapel pins. R&T also can put your favorite photo on 10-inch melamine plates. For more information, stop by their location in the H&R Block Building or call owners Roger and Teresa Tompkins at 879-6575. Hello everyone, this is John Robbins on behalf of State Representative John Mark Wendell wishing the Lady Buffaloes many wins during the 2018 volleyball season. John Mark is happy to be a sponsor of the Play by Play broadcast and hopes that you enjoy each and every game. Also the very best to our youth as they work hard in their athletic endeavors and educational pursuits. Again, on behalf of Representative John Mark Wendell, this is John Robbins saying best of luck Lady Buffaloes. Well, the Clark Range Lady Buffaloes uh, dropped their four straight, and that last one was a tough game to lose. They lose 25-16 in the first one, 25-19 in game two, and 25-17 in game three. And they led game three 17-7, to and uh, the uh, Lady Eagles got 18 unanswered points in a row, and all those behind the service of Emma Scroggins. And what an outstanding play by Emma Scroggins as uh, she comes up with 18 straight service and it's just a tough night for the Lady Buffaloes. They drop game number four and fall to one and four in the district while Van Buren County sets at 4-0. Oh. Now earlier in the JV game, Clark Range took the opening set 25-23 but lost the nightcaps 25-8 and 15-12. So a tough night for the Lady Buffaloes. Uh, don't go away. We'll be back in just a few moments uh, with our uh, player of the game for Halls Family Pharmacy. But uh, first, let's take a word from our sponsors. Whether you're competing on the athletic field or working hard in the classroom, remember you have the support of First Volunteer Bank, the bank with personality. We're behind you 100% of the way. Good luck to all the area teams. Play tough and play fair. And remember, when it comes to helping you with your banking needs, we're First Volunteer Bank, the bank with personality. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. And now over. Over. It's first volunteer for you. 
Over 80% of business owners say loyal customers are the keys to a successful business. At Hall Family Pharmacy, we appreciate our loyal customers and want to thank you by offering you a copay pass. With the Hall Family Pharmacy Customer Loyalty Program, come by the pharmacy and pick up a punch card. Every time you fill a prescription, you will get a punch on the card. When the card is full, bring it in and get your copay pass. It's a simple way for us to say thank you for your business. So stop by Hall Family Pharmacy to get your Customer Loyalty Program punch card today. Through our 50 years of service at Monday Funeral Home, we've adapted the services we provide to reflect the needs and desires of the families we assist. We can help you arrange a special commemorative ceremony at a reception hall, a local park, or sporting event. These types of gatherings can be informal and relaxed, providing an excellent way to share memories and build new traditions of love and respect. Monday Funeral Home, Jamestown and Clark Range, celebrating 50 years of caring family service. And back here at Clark Range High School where uh, we're getting set to announce our Hall's player of the game. And we'll have that right after this. Hello, this is Philip Hall with Hall Family Pharmacy. We are proud to feature this broadcast player of the game. For winning service that you can be proud of, choose Hall Family Pharmacy. And uh, join me, I have our Halls Family Pharmacy Player of the Game, uh, Miss Grace Stackhouse. And uh, Grace, uh, tough game, uh, tough uh, night here tonight. Here, I'll get your microphone set. Now, tough night tonight. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that we we did, de we, <laughs> sorry, I'm still tired. Um, we definitely had a lot of good volleys, but I think together as a team we worked really well. We just have to learn to keep our heads up when they get ahead. When uh, when you were in that last game, of course, you were up by 10. Uh, you, you guys were cruising, and all of a sudden, the wheels kind of came off of it as uh, I believe the little uh, uh, Scroggins girl had like 18 points, unanswered points. That's tough to get, see that happen, right? Oh, yeah. Um, we definitely tried our best to get it back, but um, she was just killing us on our shorts. <laughs> we tried our best. <laughs> Hey, you guys, uh, now you dropped your fourth straight loss, your fourth straight loss and fourth in the district. That's going to be a tough hole to dig out of it when, before you get to tournament play, right? Yeah, um, I think the wins are really important, but the most important part is working together as a team, and I think this game definitely proved that we can work on that and get better. Yeah, your third game looked a whole lot better than the first two games. And your one thing, uh, I think maybe more than anything, your service game has let you down a little this season. Yeah, um... We definitely get down on ourselves on our serves. If you get one, it's really hard to get yourself back up and hype yourself up. But we try our best to, as a team on the bench to help the server get them get their, their attitude back up. So. Well, Grace, we appreciate you joining us, and uh, congratulations on being the Halls player of the game. And uh, we we'll look forward to seeing you next, I guess, on Thursday night. Thank you. And uh, that was Grace Stackhouse, our Halls Family Pharmacy player of the game. We appreciate her joining us. And uh, that's going to wrap it up for us from here tonight. We want to thank our sponsors, Upper Cumberland Federal Credit Union, State Representative John Mark Wendell, Halls Family Pharmacy, First Volunteer Bank, Twin Lakes Telephone Cooperative, Clark Range Drug Center, Union Bank, McDonald's of Jamestown, r and Trophies, and Monday's Funeral Home, our sponsors for our live broadcast. And, of course, our Player of the Game brought to you by Halls Family Pharmacy. Uh, so be sure to check out Halls Family Pharmacy in Jamestown and Clark Range. That's going to do it for me. I want to thank Gage up on camera one as this being shown, of course, on Wednesday night. Now, next Wednesday night, we will be showing, uh, let's see, we've got, uh, we're going to be filming the uh, Harriman game on the 30th and also the Coalfield game on the 4th. So we will have two games next Wednesday night as well. Be sure to join us for that here on CPTV. Until then, for 15104 Sports, I'm Gary Clark. See you at the game.